First of all, I want this to be very clear. We have never, ever chased revenue. Revenue and profitability are consequences of a good strategy put in place. Okay? So what did we do? Since we know that we have a volume constraint, we cannot make so many watches, the only way was then to consolidate ourselves through the taking over of our own distribution. So what we've been doing for the last 10 years is we had at some point over 500 points of sales. It's reducing, reducing, reducing to where we are today, where we are at 96 points of sales worldwide. So we are now in direct with the clients and we managed to accumulate the margin that we didn't have before from the retail side. That's how we increase revenue a lot, okay? But it was never the goal to just increase revenue. No, to just consolidate your distribution network. It's very simple. You get better in the supply chain because one thing that was an issue in the past, we were introducing a watch in January at the SIHH and sometimes that watch will not come before March of the following year. It was not making any sense. So what we've been working out by streamlining the collection is making sure, that, making sure that when we launch, the watch is delivered. We launch, we deliver. We launch, we deliver. So we shorten the lifespan of all these novelties and launches. Two reasons. You never want to be a part of the furniture in a company. And at some point, when you run the company for too long, the risk is people still tell you yes, okay, when they should tell you no, and you are not challenged enough anymore, and which is why it's good to change on a regular basis and bring some fresh ideas and way of thinking. But at the same time, it's the same thing for me. I think I've done what I needed to do with AP on bringing the brand to a completely different level. And I want to do other things with my life. On one hand, Audemars Piguet is now ready to go and keep going in a good way, but somebody else will bring new ideas, new perspectives. So it's good for the company. Everything I've learned, I want to now do this outside for me. Sure, because I just came back from Dubai where we had the launch of Spider-Man, which is this. So this is Marvel number two. This is Marvel number one, Black Panther. So knowing that I would go to Japan after Dubai, say I'm going to have both to be able to explain because I love Japan so much as I'm going to bring the two watches actually to Japan. First of all, my expectation is that the person is going to keep going at what we've built, obviously, for not for 10 years, since 1875. Okay, you, you can't just wish for the best. I spent 29 years working for Audemars Piguet, so I want the very best for Audemars Piguet, even after I'm gone. I'm just a little part of the small time in the history of the brand. Okay, so you just want to wish the best. It's like a kid, it's like my child. Now my child is going, to somebody else, it's fine.